We're here today at the Shields Etheridge Heritage Farm right outside of Jefferson, Georgia, celebrating Before There Was Light, a special event we've put on for our members and the public to learn about life before electricity. Jackson EMC 75 years ago brought electricity to the homes and farms in Jackson County and across our Northeast Georgia service area. And we're here to demonstrate to people the challenges of life before electricity powered the lines and also to take a look at the way electricity changed people's lives over the last 75 years. We're going to be having a line crew set a pole. We have historical demonstrators in period costume, and we've got a great, beautiful setting and a great, beautiful afternoon to enjoy it. So please enjoy your time here at Shields Etheridge Heritage Farm. We hope you've learned something about life before there was light. We're demonstrating today what it was like back 75 years ago, and that's why we're here. We're, we're celebrating our 75th anniversary of Jackson EMC and we just want to show people what what people went through to provide power to their homes. The technology in line works changed drastically. Uh, we have you know so much better equipment, hydraulics, uh, trucks to do all the lifting. Now you go out there in a job and you set it in a couple minutes, 30 minutes compared to you know half a day for one pole. So uh, I, I believe that we are more efficient now uh, having the, the equipment we got. Uh, you go out there and uh, get it done. You know, we got trucks now that'll go places better than what we used to have, four wheels, winches, all that type stuff. But everything's just geared. It, it's so much faster and so much easier. Everything's just improved so much, it's, it's uh, unreal. We. Uh, wanted to demonstrate how what it was like to do it by hand back in the day. It was actually pretty challenging, you know. You have to watch out for the the other guy that's doing it too. Um, you can't uh, you can't hesitate because that pole that pole could fall. So uh, you know it's very different to what we do today. We dig the hole with hole diggers. Uh, we use a spade. Once the hole gets so deep that your hole diggers won't open, we have to go to what we call a spade which allows us to dig straight. Then we take a spoon to uh, get the dirt out of the hole with. And then we sort of, you have to trench back to lay the pole into the what we call the trough so that it doesn't move side to side. And then basically just grab it, manhandle it on this pole uh, and stand it up and uh, tamp the dirt to it. It's been a wonderful experience being a lineman, uh, just working with the guys, uh, the camaraderie. You know, it's always been a family-oriented ori thing for me. Uh, you know, I, I was in high school. I started as a, as a apprentice uh, uh, mechanic, but I always wanted to be a lineman. And, uh, you know, for me, it was the bucket trucks, the climbing. The climbing is fun. Uh, you get to climb with people that, uh, you know, that know how to do it, they teach you things, and it's, you're always learning something different. Uh, and like I said, it's it's a family thing. Uh, it's always been, I believe. You talk to old folks that have retired, and they're always talking to you about uh, the people that you have worked with and how they still get keep in touch with them and how they still uh, communicate with them. And, uh, you know, I believe that the group of people that I work now with, you know, I believe that they have my back. So uh, that's always good to know. I, I'd, I'd rather do this than anything. 